Were the Raptors being disrespectful to the Chicago Bulls or was DeMar DeRozan just butthurt about the loss? We're going to break it down in today's video and give you the answer. Let's get into it. This is Amateur Sports 2, the second channel in the Amateur Production Network for additional Toronto Raptors content and videos just like this. We have a main channel with almost 16,000 subs you can go over to for more professional videos, but here it's raw, uncut Raptors discussion. So if you like what you see, smash that like button and drop a like. It really does make a difference when you smash the like button. And let's get this re-established channel going once again but the Raptors are coming off of that 121 to 108 victory over the Chicago Bulls it was a wire to wire win the Raptors led by as many as 20 the Bulls shrunk it down to seven sort of late on in this game but ultimately the Raptors were dogged late they were executing late and come away with this 13 point victory but the victory perhaps is a little bit higher than it should have been at least according to DeMar DeRozan this was to preface an in-season tournament game and as a part of in the in-season tournament the tiebreaker for teams that are tied in the group stage phase the tiebreaker is your point differential so every point you score and every point you allow can matter especially late in the game when the shot clock is turned off you're already up by double digits but you still want to add on more points potentially and the Raptors did just that actually now that I think about it Jakob Pertl missed a free throw associated with this play so it didn't matter but the Raptors were up 13 shot clock was turned off at the end of the game ball in their hands and Siakam takes a corner three with just a few seconds remaining now whether or not Siakam made or missed this shot it wouldn't have affected the outcome of the game the Raptors would have won the game however it could have affected how many points the Raptors won by Jakob Pearl actually got the rebound on the missed three by Siakam and was fouled. Now, he missed both free throws, so it didn't make a difference to the overall score. But as we would know, typically in an NBA game at this stage of the game, you would just dribble out the clock. You'd hold on to the ball. You'd already start shaking hands, dapping up the opposition. But in this case, the Raptors continued to push on. You could see like they were thinking about stopping, but then the other players in the team were encouraging Siakam to go score, go score. And DeMar DeRozan took exception with this he started calling out the Raptors on the court he started yelling at the Raptors bench and ended up getting his te technical which was his second technical of the game and he got ejected following his ejection this is what uh, DeMar DeRozan had to say I don't care about no in-season tournament points none of that just respect for the game if the score was flip-flopped and I had the ball hold it it is what it is just everybody was yelling at Siakam score 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 take the win get out of here. So DeRozan upset about this, upset enough to have gotten a technical, upset enough to have talked about it after the game. But who's really in the wrong here? Now, the Raptors were, so to, something of note, were actually eliminated from the in-season tournament already before this game began, as were the Chicago Bulls. This game had no ramifications towards the in-season tournament. The Raptors made claims after the game that they were unaware that they were eliminated because results that had happened prior to the game earlier in the day prohibited the Raptors from being able to advance beyond the group stage of this tournament. So they were not aware at this point that elimination was already confirmed for the team. They're still trying to push to get out of the group. They're still trying to push to get to the quarterfinals of the in-season tournament. And again, point differential can matter. What I think genuinely happened here was DeMar DeRozan was unaware of the rules. DeMar DeRozan was unaware because there's been more, there's been a few players this year who have been unaware of that rule. A few players this season have been unaware that point differential is a factor in the in-season tournament. So DeMar was mad about it, talking about it, and he was informed that point differential is a factor in the in-season tournament. And he says, I don't care. Well, DeMar, to be honest, he didn't care about the point differential being a factor, but he also didn't care about playing defense for the first 47 minutes and like 55 seconds so I don't know why he has such a big issue with a shot at the last second of the game like DeMar DeRozan was a turnstile in this game he was minus 31 despite scoring 19 points so like if you really care that much about the other team shooting you really care enough to get a technical to get yourself ejected from the game probably should care enough over the course of the first 47 point 47 minutes and 55 seconds to actually play defense and try to get some stops because the Bulls were very limited in actually getting stops in this game. The Raptors shot 53% from the field and the Raptors are not an efficient basketball team. So DeMar's butthurt, didn't know the rules, 
and is calling out the Raptors. Now, obviously, the Raptors were already eliminated going into this game, so part of the discussion could be, okay, maybe they shouldn't have shot the ball. So when it was happening, as it was going down, I was questioning as the play was about to happen whether or not they'd try to score, but they probably shouldn't have gone for the basket because they were already eliminated. They probably should have just dribbled out the clock, but even if they shot the ball, like it wasn't as if they were pretending like they were going to dribble out the clock and all of a sudden they just went and scored an easy basket. Like That's disrespectful. When teams are just actually like shaking hands already, the game is done, nobody's bothering playing defense. Like at that point, yeah, that's disrespectful. But when the Bulls are still engaged in the game, knowing that the Raptors are still trying to score, that's where it's a little bit different. And that's the case for this game. The Bulls were aware the Raptors were going to continue to try and score. The Bulls were still playing defense. DeMar wasn't playing defense on this play, but he wasn't really playing defense for any minute of any of this game. So it made no difference that DeRozan maybe had checked out of the game mentally because he checked out before he even got to the Scotiabank Arena yesterday. The Bulls are playing defense. They knew the Raptors wanted to score. They understood. They should have understood the rules for the in-season tournament. And listen, DeMar DeRozan's on a 5-12 and team. They're struggling. He had a bad night and took his frustration out. It is what it is. Even if this wasn't an in-season tournament game, like, again... It wasn't as if they were just dr pretending to dribble out the clock or anything of that nature. Now, me personally, look, I'm not going to score in a non-in-season tournament game at this stage of the game. And DeMar DeRozan, if he knew the rules, and listen, listen, DeMar DeRozan, we won't have proof of this, but I hope one day we get proof of this because he says he doesn't care about no in-season tournament points. But what about an in-season tournament game where the Bulls need to win by, let's say, 15 or more points to advance out of the in-season tournament group stage, and they're up by 13 with 10 seconds left with the ball. Do you think DeRozan is just going to hold that and let his team be eliminated from the tournament? No, he's going to score. So DeRozan's butthurt, didn't understand the rules. He's mad, but the Raptors as, as well probably should have understood their position of being eliminated going to the game. Perhaps the coaches withheld that information to want to help the Raptors be motivated a little bit more to win this game and to win by margin as well so that they could rack up some point differential to help them in the group stage, whatever it may be. Raptors probably shouldn't have done it, but for the in-season tournament, there was no issue with trying to score points late to help with their point differential. DeMar DeRozan should have known that and is just upset that he had a poor game here. Sad to see DeRozan coming back to the Raptors and treating it like this because I know DeRozan would definitely go to score if his team needed that point differential. But you let me know in the comments down below who is in the wrong here. Is it the Raptors? Is it DeRozan? Give me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. But that's all for me today. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. Make sure you are subscribed to Amateur Sports 2. For more Raptors content like this, check out my other channels as well. For even more Raptors content, it's all Raptors all the time on YouTube. Thank you for watching.